After I do this, I want to make my own unique. Okay. Wait, I'll just do. That the was rest. pretty good. Yeah. I'll do the rest by hand. Uh, I think you're turning the wrong way now. Okay, you're turning the right way. So, can you talk about the design of this cage? Because we're going to make a video for the folks out there that understand that the fox chewed through those zip ties yeah. that were holding this. Zip ties. You can, see can you talk dent about how this, this house was a bad if design? If you can see the dent here, comment down below because it's horrifying. Yeah, you it should is. comment down below, absolutely. <laughs> and talk about the fact that this, yeah. this chicken house, yeah, it connected the wire together bad using qualified. these zip ties. Bad qualified. It's a bad quality. And, bad, and bad, the, the bad. fox chewed right through the zip ties and ate all the chickens. Mm -hmm. The fox, you can see right here, it's mm -hmm. completely open. There was a half dozen zip ties chewed out, and now this is completely open. The fox can easily get under. Why didn't we think about this? I didn't think about it. Honestly, I didn't. So the people over at, at, at uh, wow. Tractor Supply, one of the customers there, he told us to put a skirt of of chicken wire out behind the the house because he said the predators like the possum the raccoon the fox they're all going to dig on the outside so that's what we did we put this skirt on the ground but those critters didn't have to dig under it this was to prevent them from digging under because they just ate right through here i'm going to show you another one of these zip ties that was eaten right through they just ate right through yeah. a half they dozen. Ate right they, they ate, ate right, right through, through those zip ties. Yeah. yeah. Look, they're all dented. Yeah, they're all dented they're from all the teeth. All dented from the teeth. And they just ate right through those yep. zip ties because their tiny little sharp teeth make it easy for them to eat right through. Yeah. And so now, what are we doing? We're gonna make this wire. We're gonna replace all those zip ties with this wire. And then we're gonna try it again, but we're not gonna try it with chickens, right? What are we gonna try it with next? Bird food, not bird food, cat food. Why are we gonna try it with cat food? Because they love to eat cat food. Yeah, because raccoons and possums love to eat cat food. So if they're able to get in there and eat the cat food, then we know they'll, they'll be able to get in and eat the, uh, the chickens, chickens, right? And the chicks, so and the eggs. We're gonna make sure that the chicken wire is attached to the frame with this wire, just baling wire. Yeah, baling wire. And then we're going to see if they're able to get in and eat that that cat food. And if we find another way that the predators can get in, we'll seal that up and we'll keep on sealing. But if it's not, but if it's not the seeding problem, then it could be the digging problem. Well, we still have to put the skirt around the bottom yes, of this right but here. Like, but even if you put the skirt, they could dig um, two feet out. Yeah, and dig a hole there and go into there. So up there. The, the, the customer at, at Tractor Supply, he's been raising chickens for a lot of years, and he said that two feet out is enough. They're not going to dig that far out. They're not smart, sweetie. They're still uh, animals. Fox, well, Grandma said foxes are smart, though. Well, raccoons are crazy smart, but uh, two feet out should be enough. So we're going to put that, that, um, that skirt out two feet out from the house. And we're gonna to secure that down too. And then we're gonna make sure that nothing can get in here and and get a hold of the chickens. What do you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Can you help me here? You want me to help you cut that wire? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Please.